In today's video, we are talking about passing. In my opinion, the most important skill in football, passing and also first touch. So in today's video, I'm gonna help you with your technique and also give you a little routine you can use to get tons of passes and improve your technique in both feet. Seven different exercises, tons of passes. Again, these are just recommendations. If you wanna do less, if you wanna do more, that's up to you. First thing I want to say is when you are practicing like this on a wall with pavement, if your passing is poor, if your technique is poor, you will get found out very quickly. Your passes will be bouncing everywhere, they'll be bobbling and it'll be very hard to control the ball. So if you are hitting the ball and it is bouncing into the ground, as soon as it leaves your foot, that means you are hitting too high on the ball. If you are hitting the ball and it's rising and hitting the wall, higher up the wall, hitting your imaginary teammate in his kneecaps, then you are hitting too low on the ball. So try to hit in the center of the ball and really open your foot, making flush contact with the inside of your foot. The next thing I wanna talk about is your first touch. And it's so important when you are doing these drills, especially the simple two touch drills, focus on that first touch, so important. If you have a poor first touch, you will not be able to play quickly. You will not be able to have a nice, firm, consistent pass because it'll be stuck in your feet. So really focus on your first touch, getting it out of your foot, but also think about setting it exactly where you want it to be. For example, if I'm using my right foot, I need to set that first touch on my right side so I can easily step into that pass. If you're really focused on your first touch and always improving your first touch, you're gonna be able to play much quicker. So please focus on your first touch as much as you're passing when you're doing these drills. The other thing I wanna say is focus on your movement, especially when you're doing one touch. You should never be lunging or stretching to reach a pass. You should be moving your feet quick enough to get there that you are set up properly, your body's over the ball so you can make a proper passing technique. And the final thing I want to say when you're doing these drills is instead of just hitting the ball against the wall, pick a spot. You can see I am aiming at this like little tiny black speck. It's like a little crack in the wall. I'm trying to hit it every time. I don't hit it every time, especially on the one touch. It's much more difficult to be consistent, but try to hit that spot. It's really going to help you improve your aim, your consistency, and your overall passing technique. So here's the routine you can do. Seven different exercises, tons of passes. Again, these are just recommendations. If you want to do less, if you want to do more, that's up to you. But I just want you to focus on your passing technique and your first touch on every single repetition. So if you found this video helpful, please like, please comment, please share. 
If you have any questions about passing or first touch, you're struggling with your technique or certain situations, comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching guys. You guys are the best subscribers in all of YouTube. I'm so lucky to have supporters and followers like you and I'm going to keep putting out these videos as long as you'll continue to watch them. So